This is Dr. Marshall Kress, and this is a day in the life of a neurosurgeon. So my day begins bright and early about 7 a.m. when I go to the preoperative area to meet my patients. I'll review their films and go and talk with them about how they'd like to proceed, and then I go to the ICU to start rounds. So I was on call this day, and we had a lot of films to go through on all the patients. This is me and my physician assistant who's helping me round on patients today, review all the images, and talk about what's going on with the patients. And then we spend lots of time going in and out of rooms, meeting all the patients, talking to the other team members who are taking care of the patients, stepping out of the room to take phone calls about patients, going to the ER to look at more patients and see how we can help them. And then once I'm done, I go back to the operating room to get started for my first case of the day. The name of this case is an anterior cervical discectomy infusion or ACDF. It's a pretty common procedure, but we essentially make an incision in the front of the neck, dissect down to the front of the spine, and then expose the spine and cut out the discs and decompress the nerves. Then we put a plate and screws to hold it together. When we're done, I go back and start more rounds. And then I have a procedure in the interventional radiology suite. That's my team. We use catheters and wires to take pictures of the blood vessels in the head and neck. And then we um, block off blood vessels or treat those blood vessels for pathology. When I'm done downstairs in the radiology suite, I'll usually come back upstairs and do more surgeries in the operating room. And then when the day's over, I get to go home.